Hello YouTube friends! Today we are doing my monthly Costco haul for the month of February. This month's haul has some of my stuff and it also has some of my mother-in-law's stuff. She's behind the camera so say hi. And uh, <laughs> so I'm going to get into this and show you guys everything that we got. But before we do that, if you are new here, I just want to say hi. My name is Meredith and welcome to my channel, Mare of All Trades. We do all kinds of grocery hauls, beauty unboxings, fashion unboxings, and shopping hauls of all kinds. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so we can hang out more often. Now let's get into this. So today I have one heck of a Costco haul for you. It seriously just keeps going. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got some non-food items over here that I wanted to show you. I did get a set of pajamas for my daughter. So it has this really cute little cupcake on it with some polka dots and that set comes with shorts. And then the one on the back is short sleeved but it has long pants and it just has some really cute cupcakes on there. We got two packs of batteries because a lot of my kids toys and things uh, require batteries and all three of them are into Thomas the Tank Engine so we, we tend to go through a lot of them and these are actually on sale this um, flyer so for the rest of the month of February basically so we did pick up two of those I think they're like $12.99 for a huge pack so this one looks like it has 40 and the AAA has 32 so I thought that was a darn good price so I stocked up for our family my mother-in-law decided to try the Strivectin repair and recharge um, eye cream so uh, we will let you know in a future empties uh, what we think of that. So happy to have that. She's going to try this one and I get the travel size. So everybody wins. She picked up some Kirkland bath tissue because you can never have too much, right? And then also some Kleenex. So and the Kleenex is also on sale this flyer. Okay, and so then into the groceries, we got the oven roasted organic turkey breast from Plainville Farms. We've gotten this before and we like it um, and I like to open one pack each week um, to kind of space it out and so then that is what our family has for like school lunches and my husband's work lunches and then at the end of the package if the week isn't over then we'll do peanut butter and jelly or tuna or something else. So kind of helps break up the month. We did get some of the organic ground turkey, so we I love these because they're already perforated, so I can just cut them and stick them in the freezer and defrost as necessary. And then we also got some of the boneless, skinless chicken breasts. There are six of these individual packs, and um, so I just stick those in my freezer. We have three of the 24-count eggs. Um, we go through a lot of eggs, we eat breakfast for dinner, and I personally like to have an egg for breakfast every morning. We got some coffee creamer. This will be no surprise to anyone who has watched my channel for a while. You know I love coffee and I have to have creamer to go with it. I stocked up on the Krusty's Light and Fluffy Buttermilk Pancake Mix. Um, we've been out for a while and I made the mistake of accidentally buying a thing of syrup because I thought I didn't have any and there was one in my pantry. So if you watch my meal planning video, even I screw up sometimes. So we're having some pancakes for a while. Um, we got some of the Country Archer Mini Beef Sticks. My older son really likes beef sticks and I've seen several other YouTubers haul these beef sticks so I'm blaming YouTube for this purchase so I will let you guys know if these are any good. Um, if you want to know about that you can certainly leave me a comment about the beef sticks or any other item if you are wanting to hear a review on it. Did we like it? Was it any good? Should you purchase it? Um, just leave that in the comments below and as we try things I will answer your questions. So we'll see if those are any good. We did get a bag of the Purdue Panko Breaded Chicken Breast Nuggets. These are not the organic ones I normally get, but these ones were the ones that were on sale. And I think this bag was like $7.49. There are several varieties of chicken nuggets that are on special this month. So we picked those up for quick and easy dinners. I did get a bag of the Organic Cuties. This is a five pound bag and I believe it was $8.99. I'm gonna show you guys the receipt here too since I already forgot to do that. But we got the Fortune Tonkatsu Ramen Noodles with char grilled chicken strips. This was in the refrigerated section and I absolutely love uh, ramen. So this is the slightly fancier version. I love going to like an actual 
traditional ramen noodle restaurant, but there isn't one particularly close to my house, so this will have to do, and hopefully it's really good. Cross your fingers, because um, I, I love it. All right, so this, it got me. I mean, gotta have something special for Valentine's Day, right? So I got the Italian four cheese ravioli. It is heart-shaped, so what is not to love? Um, so we will just put some marinara sauce, some tomato sauce or something over this for Valentine's for just uh, something special. We got, let's see here, this is the cilantro lime crema. This stuff is so good, seriously. Um, if you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. It is great and it will make even the most boring ground turkey tacos seem extra fancy and delicious. So I highly recommend this. It would be, it's good with like nachos too. It's just as good. <laughs> um, we got some of the basil pesto. I really like this and I feel like it's good to have on hand. It does freeze pretty well. Um, so if you feel like you're not going to eat the entire thing before it goes bad, just stick it in separate containers and toss it in the freezer. I like to put it over chicken breasts and bake them on the sheet pan in the oven and it turns out really well. Okay, this isn't all for me. <laughs> so like I said, my mother-in-law and I went shopping together and we each got some cheese, so there are four, but again, not all for me. So this is the Adams Reserve New York Extra Sharp Cheddar Cheese. We do have grilled cheese sandwiches on the menu. I'll show you what it's going to go with over here in a second. Um, but we got that. My husband likes to snack on it, and yay for cheese. We have two things of the organic Triscuits. These are the original. You get four boxes in them, and my husband and my kids just go through these like crazy. The Heavenly Hunks are on sale this time around as well, so I did pick up one bag. I restrained myself, and I only picked up one bag. Um, someone was asking me where these are in the store, and this time they were on the end cap because they are on special. So if you're looking for these, they kind of taste like a no-bake oat bar. So it has like chocolate chips, coconut, and oatmeal. Is I think they're delicious, <laughs> but... If you have no self-control, don't bother. Um, these are the microwave popcorn. My kids have been eating popcorn as a bedtime snack quite often, so I picked up another one of those. I didn't really have room on the table for two gallons, but so one is already in the fridge, but we picked up some milk. Okay, so, oh my goodness, the table is so full. I think this might be my largest Costco haul ever, seriously. So the creamy or Organic tomato basil soup is on special. This is a two pack. So we are going to be having some grilled cheese and tomato soup probably twice this month. Um, I did switch my meal plan a little bit, but yeah, this looked super yummy and I am interested to try it out. And then I'm going to show you the receipt. So here is something that you should know, and I don't know if it was just the cashier we had or what, but here is the receipt that's my subtotal yikes and this the total for everything was 554.73 this stuff is my mother-in-law's so we are on the same costco membership but now you can they're saying today at least that our cashier wouldn't ring us up on the same card but with two separate transactions she made us do only one transaction and pay with two separate cards. I don't understand, but apparently it's a policy change. So if you go to Costco and you share a membership with someone else, you've been warned. Um, they may start enforcing it. So we got some organic cucumbers. So three pack of these. I have been doing um, imperfect foods deliveries to my house, which I've really been enjoying. I'll pop up either an iCard or I'll... Um, put a card up at the end of the video so you can check those out. I've done, I think, three of those unboxings so far, and this time around they didn't have cucumbers um, as an option this week. So we needed some cucumbers in my house. And then the other thing is I've been getting like a set of bell peppers in my boxes, but it's just not enough. I really love bell peppers and I prefer to cook with them a lot, and so I just decided to go ahead and get a six-pack bag from Costco this time. Another thing that was on sale is the King Crab and Corn Chowder. This looked super good. Now, for your reference, these uh, soup containers are the same price, 
but as you can see, the tomato basil is a lot bigger than the king crab, so obviously crab meat's expensive, and so that's probably why. But, you know, something to keep in mind if you're kind of making out your Costco grocery list, they are definitely different sizes in the ad, and it doesn't really show that very well in the ad, so... I'm excited to try these. My mother-in-law and I decided to buy this and then we're each going to keep a tub to try it out and see if we like it. So there you are. We got some of the organic broccoli florets. Again, we love these. This is something I get pretty often. I like to keep these in the freezer. It comes with four one pound bags and we all eat it so it's just something great to have on hand if I need a side of veggie for something and I'm just feeling lazy and want to toss a bag in the microwave. I think I skipped over these but I get these every time. These are the tortillas. We eat a lot of tacos, quesadillas, all of those sorts of things and so I did pick up another pack of those. The Classico Organic Spaghetti Sauce, the Tomato Herb and Spices uh, variety is on special. I believe this was $5.49. So I thought for three jars of organic uh, pasta sauce, I thought that was pretty good. So we do eat a lot of spaghetti, so this will get used up in the next month or two at my house. We picked up some organic applesauce pouches because those are a staple for us. We picked up some of the organic fruit and vegetable pouches. Again, my almost two-year-old is going through those like crazy. We got some Cheez-Its because how can you not have Cheez-Its? I was informed by my husband and my children that I did not stock up on enough snacks last month, so I have learned my lesson. We got some of the Quaker Oat Squares. <laughs> that was my mother-in-law's purchase. I will say I do not think that they are of the same quality at Costco as they are like when I purchased them at the grocery store or Target. And I actually compared them because I happened to have some on hand when I bought them last time. They're not the same size, and I don't think that they are manufactured in the same um, factory because it's not, I don't think they're the same. So anyways, I don't feel that the quality of the oat squares at Costco is as good. So buy them at your regular grocery store. The Barilla pasta is, I think it was like $4.99 for this six pack, which is a great deal. I bought this last month and I still have some, but the pasta keeps for a very long time and I decided to stock up because I'm not sure how long Costco will decide to carry them. This is something my mother-in-law picked up. This is the teriyaki stir fry udon noodles with mixed vegetable topping. So she and my father-in-law are going to try this. So it's four individual packets of the noodles, the vegetable topping, and the teriyaki seasoning packets. So I'm, I'm interested to see how they like those. <laughs> um, I picked up some sour cream because again, we do a lot of tacos and I also use it um, to make some of my cream sauces instead of using like cream of chicken soup or you know anything from a can. I like to use fresh when I can. And so picked that up. We'll go through it. We got some of the Kerrygold Dubliner cheese here. Um, we really like this, again, like cheese and crackers and just for snacking. So this is really tasty and it keeps for a very long time as long as you keep it wrapped up and I put it in another container. It works out great for us. We did pick up a pack of the pork tenderloin. This one is, let's see, 1053. And this is four tenderloins. Usually there are two in each uh, side. And so my mother-in-law is gonna take one of these home and I'm gonna keep one. And so that will be perfect. I made this for Christmas dinner and oh, it was really good. I pan seared it and I did like a dry spice rub of like salt, pepper, um, rosemary, garlic and onion powder. And then I seared it in a cast iron skillet and then finished it off on a sheet pan in the oven. And it was super tasty, if I say so myself. We got some garden veggie straws with sea salt. Um, this is on special, both the organic and non-organic version. My Costco only had the non-organic version. The Boom Chicka Pop is on sale, the sweet and salty kettle corn. Um, so I picked that up. And then we have the Kirkland Organic Tortilla Chips. I buy this every time I go. These are my favorite and my family's favorite. And they are so good just with salsa. My kids eat them plain and I like them with freshly made guacamole. They're delicious. 
We got some of the Kirkland uh, Kitchen Drawstring Bags. I have not tried these before, so I am interested to see how the quality is. I believe these were also on special this month, and clearly the ad got me this time. Um, so we're going to test those out. My mother-in-law is taking some of them, and I'm going to keep some of them, and we're going to see if we like them. That's the great thing is if you have someone to go with, you can split some of these things because I don't know that I need 200 trash bags, but, you know. Um, my mother-in-law picked up some of the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. These are also on special. And then we are hosting... Ooh, that lighting sucks. Sorry, guys. The um, My daughter's birthday party, and so I got a four-pack of pepperoni pizzas, a pack of cheese pizzas, a three-pack of the Bellatoria uh, Sausage... Italia pizzas and then another thing of cheese pizzas. It's mostly just going to be the family. We're not going to do a ton of friends because she's only two. So that is that. And then the last thing I'm pretty, the last things we got four loaves of bread because the expiration date was actually really good on the bread this time. So I was able to get two for this week and two for next week. Again, we, I pack all of the family's lunches as they leave the house in the morning and so these will get eaten up and some of these are going to be grilled cheese as well and if for any reason I think it's going to go to waste I will whip up some french toast and stick it in my freezer but this this is a gift to mom to me um, my large saute pan I've had for probably 15 years it's non-stick and it is no longer non-stick let me tell you and also it it's starting to, the coating is starting to come off, so I'm a little afraid to cook anything in it and feed it to my family because I'm just not sure what horrible cancer-causing ingredients are being released into my food. I don't know. So I just, this was on sale this month. It is, I have another one of these or, these original green pans, um, and I really liked it. I feel like the nonstick coating was really good, and so I am interested um, to try this one. It, the one that I have is not the Diamond Professional. So, but anyways, this is 20, I want to say it's $22.99 this month. It's also on special. And so I was super excited to see this in the ad because I knew I needed to get a new large saute pan. I love that it's high sided and I really love that it's five quart and has a lid. So yay for me. <laughs> All right. So holy cannoli guys, that is everything we got at Costco. That was a lot. Um, so anyways, of course, leave me your questions down below. Um, I will link to the Trader Joe's haul that I did recently if you want to check that out. And I will also link to the Imperfect Foods unboxings that I've done and a couple of other things. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And you know I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.